Hi, I'm Roger Mander from Ampersand. I want to talk to you today about the way growth curves. Clayton Christensen on disruptive innovation observed that our most demanding customers and least demanding customers choose different domains of performance. So for example, traditional offerings follow a curve of increasing value that eventually goes flat over time. These are disrupted by innovators who come in from the bottom. They come in cheaper, faster, and below the demands of the most valuable customers. This allows them to iterate faster, grow quickly, and eventually even supersede the incumbents. This kind of curve crosses first for the least demanding customers. This is when you enter into the market and first begin generating revenues and then you become much more profitable as you begin to pass into the preference category of the most demanding customers. If we back away from this frame, what you should recognize is that all innovations eventually go through an entire parabolic life cycle. They will decrease in value just as the next one will do as it comes in, takes over the incumbent, and then it sweeps away over time as the next generation of innovations take place. Now, of course, if you're the originator in this category, you're threatened by these new innovations that are coming in below your economic curve. We've seen it happen with the transformation in smartphone technology over generations, and we see it in almost every category, even the simplest commodities. Sometimes they're not increasing in value based on performance, but on reduced price. But what would happen if you cannibalized your own offering? If you became your own innovation engine to replace your old technologies with new, your original offerings with the next generation? What you would be doing is creating a growth curve that combines the value of the first generation with the second, the value of those two with a third generation that ultimately, if you add those together, creates this kind of exponential curve. It's counterintuitive to each of us to transform our business in a way that cannibalizes the sacred cows of the past. If we don't do it, the market will do it to us. Growth curves. I'm Roger May with Ampersand.